The ocean comprises over three quarters of the Earth's surface. It looks flat from up here, but the ocean bottom is anything but flat. With vast mountain ranges and deep canyons, it is every bit as detailed as the land that surrounds us. With floor ravines etching off the continental shelf, sacred grottos, deep water springs, and volcanic fumaroles, the sea is an extreme, expansive, and varied habitat. And given its 12,000 foot average depth, it is also an envelope for an incomprehensible diversity of life, adapting to the extreme ranges of pressure, temperature, and textures found in the water column, from seafloor to surface tension. And if you consider that at any time, half of the ocean is in the darkness of night, and that sunlight does not penetrate below a few hundred feet, most life in the sea has adapted to darkness. And while many marine vertebrates do have eyes, most ocean animals use sound to sense their surroundings, just as terrestrial animals use vision. And these acoustical adaptations are every bit as varied as the environment, with some animals calling and sensing sound across thousands of miles, others perceiving details finer than a human hair. Navigating, echolocating, coursing, calling in kin, avoiding predators, locating prey, all in dense acoustical matrix of the sea. And their aquatic medium is particularly well suited for sound transmission. Given that water is not compressible, sound transmits 35 times more efficiently in water than in the air. So transmitting sound a thousand miles in water is not uncommon, something that can't be done in our terrestrial environment. And herein lies a troubling problem. As human industry and enterprise gets deeper and denser into the ocean, so too does the noise that it creates, disrupting the bioacoustic environment that these animals need to survive.